good night, good day, good afternoon, or whatever time you happen to be watching this. Welcome to another episode of House of Stars. I am a girl star, and yes, I know. It's been a while since you see me, and of course, I'm under new contrast, new quality, new everything. Yes, I've decided to take my dusty camera out of the closet and actually make use of it. Um, I was actually going about it in a more easier way, but of course, you know, who wouldn't want to watch a video in much better quality? So, I know it's been a month since I've talked to you guys. I think the last time we spoke was when I did the Bruce Jenner Celebrity Psychic Greeting video, which there is more to come. I know that there's a few people that have given me requests on who to read on and things like that. Uh, which I am definitely going to get around to doing it. It's just between balancing, you know, my careers and life and everything like that. Sometimes it does take time to get around to getting the energy to actually do a reading. Um, not only just a reading, just doing a video and going through the whole YouTube process and things like that. So just know that I still don't love you. I'm here. I know I've taken a while, but I am back. Okay. Um, Another thing, um, I know I always announce it, and I'm just not going to get into it too hardcore, but $20 for 20 minutes, that special is still going on for those of you that are maybe interested. Um, and I know that I mentioned that I'm going to do an Ask Star video, which I am going to do the Ask Star video. Um, it's just, there's a couple of things that I've seen. It's all about what's coming to me and what it comes to you know, people coming to me with uh, different questions and things like that, and you know, I want to answer the questions. So it's like I'm trying to get, you know, trying to get everything together all in the right place so that I could do that. So one thing that I am going to do in this episode today is, of course, um, a lot of people I uh, like to message me for just basic advice. It doesn't necessarily mean like psychic advice. It could also be more on a mental or on a more like self-help level uh, when it comes to uh, spirituality so the reason why I'm doing this video today because I do want to address um, a topic that I've been getting a lot or a lot of people even myself I have issues with because um, I am a Scorpio so um, but I, I wanted to address the topic of letting go um, that's something that, you know, I will be vulnerable to say that is something I struggle with. And I know a lot of people that I've come across struggle with that as well. Um, and when I say letting go, it's, it can be letting go on so many different aspects. It could be letting go in order to allow yourself to have a successful career um, in what you do. So you're like you're performing at maybe a 30% level where you could be performing at a 60 or 70 or even a hundred percent depending on where you feel you need to be comfortable where you want to perform or it could be letting go of past traumas in your life certain things that have happened in your life where um, you're not necessarily happy about what life afforded you or you know letting go of a past relationship that is still hindering you like just letting go is the topic of discussion that I'm going to talk about today so, um, I want to say that, of course, like, even though I am a psychic, I like to identify as saying that I'm what we call bootleg psychiatrists, or psychiatrists without the PhD. Well, that depends on some psychics. Um, not all psychics could say the same, but for me, I feel like I'm like a bootleg psychiatrist, you know? Um, but what I want to do is I want to say that it's like these suggestions I have, they may work for you, they may not. Um, you may agree or resonate with the things that I have to say. You may not agree with them at all. But at the same time, I can only give you uh, my perception of what you can do about situations like this only through my own lens. So here it goes. Um, so letting go. Now, first of all, I could talk about when it comes to myself and letting go. You know, going back and scratching back to saying that I am a Scorpio. Um, is that we do feel things very intensely and very deeply and being psychic does not help the situation either so um, Letting go sometimes of situations doesn't necessarily mean that you have a hard time letting go because it happened to you And you can't get over it 
a lot of the times that the trauma or the thought process that you may have attached to the things that you're holding on to has to do with things that maybe resonate deeply with a thought process or an emotion um, of an experience that you've had before that incident happening. So, um, for example, I had a client come to me um, and he, like, like, you know, for privacy reasons, I'm just going to keep it very simple. Um, he came to me and he's having a hard time letting go of things that he's went through in his past, like letting go and being able to forgive to move forward. Um, he has obviously come far enough to realize that a lot of the things that have been holding him back from his success and holding him back from moving on and having healthy relationships with people is what stems from a lot of the things that he's went through when he was younger. And, um, you know, I resonated deeply with that because, of course, I know that I went through similar things like that. And I think the best thing about le letting go is allowing yourself to understand that it bothers you. Because usually what happens is, it's like when you have a situation that has hurt you deeply, because of your ego, you start to use different um, scenarios or thought processes or using the blame game to cover that wound. Instead of actually looking at the wound for what it is and being stronger than it. So, for example, if you know you're a person that you have a deep-seated wound from... I don't know, being teased in high school. Like, you know, like somebody, when you're in school, you weren't the cool kid and people used to make you feel like crap. And then you moved on your life years after and then you became a better person um, and you, you're at a place where you felt a little bit much better than yourself and then that person made you feel like how you felt in high school. Um, and it could just be with that one person. It doesn't need to be a group of people. It could just be a, one person brings you back to that time of how you felt once in your past. And that kind of inflames the wound that you have. So you got to go back to that place of where you were and allow yourself to feel that emotion and to feel exactly how that situ situation and scenario hurt you. And sometimes... What people don't understand when it comes to letting go and why people hold on to situations is because they expected that scenario to actually work out the way that they wanted it to rather than actually seeing the blessing in disguise in that situation. There are times where there's, there's certain things that you have a hard time letting go that you don't realize are actually golden nuggets in your life. So for example, if you went through a traumatic childhood or you went through you know bullying or being looked at as you know, um, or you went through a stage in your life where you felt inadequate or you mentally you felt depressed. These are things that you've had to go through to actually build your character. Now, when struggle does show that God loves you. I know it sounds really crazy, but I can say and I can contest in my life, the more, the most struggles I've learned, I'm as wise as I am about certain situations where I can give people uh, comfort in her life because of the things that I've gone through. If I didn't go through certain things in my life, I wouldn't be able to be that person to be, um, to give that sense of wisdom to somebody else because it's, it's because I can resonate with the energy because it's something that I've been through. Okay, so uh, first step to letting go is acknowledging why it happened. Now, when it comes to a situation and it's letting go, Sometimes a lot of people try to look for validation or try to look for um, confirmation um, in situations where they need to let go that involve somebody else. Now, this is one thing that I've learned about this life and other people, yourself and other people. God grants us free will. Regardless if you want to do something bad or you want to do something good, you have the free will to do it. But through everything you do, there is a consequence. And we all know that, okay? So, you have free will. But where free will changes is when somebody else is involved. Because they are granted free will as well. So, keep in mind, when it comes to you feeling that you need to get, you know, validation or confirmation or closure from somebody else, that's where you failed yourself. Because... Sometimes you'll never get it. There's times that there's people that have done things to you 
or of, uh, or, or of her true ways that understand that the feelings that you have and the things that you're carrying, you own them. They do not belong to anybody else. Uh, when it comes to anyone either, you know, there's obviously such thing as karma depending on what the circumstances is and what needs to happen. Um, there's such thing as karma and that's karma is something that is dealt by God or dealt out by God or the universe. So that's not something that's going to be, that's, that has anything to do with you. So now you're left with the stuff. You're left with what you got to work on. Let, you're left with this pain, this scar, this gouge in your, in your, in your essence that is hindering you from being your optimal best or being the person that you need to be. So how are we going to do that? Now you have to ask yourself, how are you going to allow yourself to do that? Now, I can give you some tips of that I've used, that I've worked, that I've worked for me, um, or, you know, some advice can work for others. It all depends on how extreme your situation is, how deep felt that you feel, but at the same time, it doesn't hurt to try to do things for yourself, especially on a self-help um, aspect, in order to, you know, relieve some of this issue. Now... One thing that I that I find has worked for me, um, especially when it comes to letting go of issues and you know alleviating stress and things like that, um, has to do with doing Reiki, doing Reiki work, doing meditations and yoga. So breathing exercises and grounding your energy and allowing the energies within your essence to flow on a, a even metric does alleviate a lot of stress. Now we have to understand that when it comes to these wounds that people have or things that are issues that they're having a hard time letting go, they are allowing stress in their life to contribute to this wound. So it's like for example, like if you were to get your get like a cut somewhere and you know you went outside and you're playing up in sand, like you're gonna get that wound is gonna end up getting infected. Why that is is because you're allowing that wound to be exposed to toxic things to cause, you know, infection in the skin. That's the same thing that has to do with emotions, is that you have this wound and this wound needs to be healed. So you cannot put yourself in a position where you're exposing this wound um, for it to get a lot worse than it actually is. So for one, um, on a more physical standpoint, is try to do some yoga. Look up, there's a lot of yoga classes that are available in everyone's neighborhood for free, whether it be outdoors or be in somebody's home. Um, I feel like a really good place to look is, uh, I think it's called meetup.com, where you can meet uh, different people uh, that have similar interests to you, even similar issues as you, or hobbies or things like that, where they do meetups throughout the city. Um, it's usually hosted by somebody else. But yeah, like look up in meetups and try to find something if like the cost of like taking yoga classes or whatever the case may be, may be an issue for you. Um, another thing is uh, meditation. Now, listen, you guys all watch YouTube. YouTube is free. You can find an array of different videos on YouTube that are exceptionally magnificent to work with. So uh, there's a couple of videos that I will list down below where there is some guided meditations, Bernardo Beats that I'm going to put below, of, of kind of videos that you can listen to, maybe just to start your day. And sometimes you could even take your time and be yourself and be vulnerable in that moment and allow yourself to go through the emotions of that, 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 that trauma or whatever it is that you're holding on to that you feel that you need to get, let go. And be honest exactly how it makes you feel with yourself. You have to understand sometimes people when it comes to letting go of issues is because they, they have such a huge ego about what's happened to them. And, and ego doesn't necessarily mean about me thinking I'm the shit. I mean ego as in feeling like guilt, ego as in feeling, um, feeling ashamed, or ego as feeling weak, just any kind of emotion that has to do with how you think something makes you feel rather than actually acknowledging how it makes you feel more on a higher self standpoint, if you know what I mean. So take that time, take that time in meditation, in prayer, an hour a day, pamper yourself and actually address that situation. Another thing that I like to do is I like to burn things. I'm very 
very much a pyro. <laughs> I like to burn things. So um, there's a next mechanism I usually do or an, an exercise that I do where it's like you write a letter to yourself. Now when you're writing the letter to yourself, you're writing the letter in a format as if you're writing it to your old self. So if you were like, say I'll be like, Dear Star, once known as the girl, the girl that was in pain and write a letter of how that person felt and how you feel about um, every emotion honestly with yourself and how what you want to change and what you're ready to bury and what you're ready to let go and what you want to happen after finishing this letter. So what I usually do after that is done is I do go outside in nature um, and I burn the paper. I burned the, the letter that I wrote and the, but while burning the letter the ashes and the smoke is it symbolizes words that are being sent out to the universe so that when the letters are burnt it's like it's sent out to the universe and the universe will take care of it now once you've burnt this letter keep in mind sometimes I don't know it depends on who you are I feel instantaneously I feel something where I feel a lot better so uh, when you burn something now that when you are burning it you're banishing it, letting it go, and moving on from what does not serve you anymore. Now, sometimes some people have, depending on what it is that they have a hard time letting go, they have um, the person They have the person that they can talk to about it, you know what I mean? Um, say if it's something on a more parental or something that has to do with a family member or it could be a friend or an ex-lover, doesn't matter who it is, but if you can, you know, you can either write them an email write them a letter, you know, or even ask them to meet up for coffee and allow yourself to let go of whatever issue or pain or trauma that you are going through in that conversation. Now, a lot of people think that going through that, they go scratching back on what I was talking about before, about getting um, some kind of validation from that person. When doing, an, doing this exercise or doing this release, you can't have the expectation of getting the answers that you want. Sometimes we are blessed and we do get that and a lot of times we do we get people that are uh, That become you know, they may not understand what they did, but they're very empathetic and they want to be able to help you Remove this hurt or this pain that they have caused you now know that this person is never gonna give you what you want on your terms But if it were to be a situation where you feel like it's needed for you to have a conversation with that person to express exactly how you feel just so that you let your let it go do that, but know when you are allowing this person or confronting this person about what it is that you want to let, what you're looking to purge or allow them to know how they made you feel, that that is it. You know, once you have that conversation with them, to be as honest and vulnerable as possible and say what it is that you need to say. And especially don't come in a place of anger, don't come in a place of any type of emotion of some sort, you are going to get emotional about it. But this is for you to set your soul free. This is for you to let, allow yourself to let go. Okay? So that's more on the more emotional standpoint when it comes to letting go. And it took me a long time for that one. But let's get more into letting go when it comes to career and certain things that you want. Now, the only thing that I can say about this is, of course, a lot of people that let them go, their self go... Um, or don't allow themselves to let go and be successful in their endeavors is because they haven't got themselves in a place where they feel knowledgeable enough, um, educated enough um, to feel um, confident in moving forward and being where they want to be. And that obviously comes a lot with learning and allowing yourself to let go and um, allow yourself to let go and experience and learn things. Now, as the saying goes, it's one of my favorite sayings, I don't know where it first came from, but I only heard it from Kane on song, is any man that knows anything knows he does not know a thing at all, okay? So, always be open to learning. You're going to learn all the time. You're learn, learn, you going to learn little things. Even some things that you know, like you have things that are buried in the subconscious in your mind, or in the back of your head, or you have little puzzle pieces of certain things that you've learned before, but they have two aspects about something um, that you're doing. You know, be open to learning new things. And I feel confidently that people actually 
are much more confident in what they're doing and they let go even if they are shy um, in whatever endeavor that they're doing when they feel that they're knowledgeable of what they're doing so if you're knowledgeable what it is that you're doing you will feel a lot more confident so if you're taking a field or whatever you're doing or endeavor that you may have make sure that you are taking it seriously taking the doing the necessary studying talking to the right people in order to find out how you can be exceptionally good at what it is that you are doing now I know a lot of people of course like you know they feel like they can do the bare minimum and they can get by what it is that they want to do and that's how they have not allowed themselves to let go um, if if it's something that is on your mind that you feel like you want to do more or you see yourself as doing more then that's the problem you're the only person that's holding yourself back and you're the only person that you can damn well blame that's it point blank I said it okay so also like you know when it comes to things that you do and especially with letting go and getting your, and stepping a bit out of your comfort zone try to do something that scares you every single day especially in your field say if you're a person that works in the office and you want to move up to a different department okay um go out of your way and try to find out some statistics and 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 things that have to do with that role of actually being in that department or doing going a little bit over top in your job that day now i understand that you know when it comes to a company some people have this ego standpoint where it's like okay well i'm not doing it for the company i'm doing it for myself you know what but at the end of the day it, you are yourself and it's like you, you working or whatever the career choice that you may be doing is your livelihood. So for you to not care about what you're doing for about your livelihood, that only falls on you. It does not fall on the company. The, the company is not going to close if you decide to leave. They'll find somebody else to take your spot. It's just the way it is. So just know that everything you're doing, whether you are working for somebody else or if you're working independently, it's all experience at the end of the day. Like, for example, I learned... I feel like I've learned a whole lot about my career and especially being self-employed through all the jobs I had. Literally, because of all the jobs I had, they had similar formulas that I used in, and I implement in my own business um, that makes me successful in the things that I do. Um, so keep in mind that every experience that you have doesn't necessarily mean um, it's something that you don't need. Like I remember... Um, especially when it came to sales I hated sales all I would get was sales job anywhere in Toronto if anyone that lives in Toronto knows that there's like, there's like an array of freaking sales jobs here like to actually get a different job is really really hard so I used to hate selling and doing sales jobs all the time I'm like you know what I just don't want to have the stress I just want to just pick up the phone and say hey welcome to so-and-so and so and hang up the phone I don't want to talk to nobody I need to try to sell shit I don't want to do nothing but at the end of the day I said you know what for fuck's sakes I can't find a job anywhere else sales is what's gonna friggin be I'm gonna just try to learn what I need to do and actually get good at it so that it's easier for me to just drop I end up getting good at what I did I started learning certain things I actually started learning that there was a lot of things that have to do with you know the fundamentals of being a salesperson that had a whole lot to do with my personality and career aspirations or pursuits that I had and what I would need um, or learn things I need to back me up in that way uh, where it comes to you know how to represent yourself how when it comes to trades um, how to keep a keep motivation and going and selling yourself all those things were things that I needed for my future because of course um, you know at this time I was an aspiring actress so um, yeah it's just like you just never know where things are going to lead you you just never know what what you're going to learn you just never know when you're going to need anything so always make sure you have a wealth of knowledge having a wealth of knowledge it makes it easier for you to let go and know what it is that you're doing what you need to do okay now when it comes to letting go on say on a personal level now we went from emotional we went to career now let's move in on maybe like a romantic or personal level like making new friends or you know meeting a new guy okay first things first whoever that you're looking to bring into your life you first must look at this person as somebody that is coming in to complement your life. That you guys can both share something with 
each other. You guys can both learn something from each other. Not like this person is coming to add some kind of value to your life, like if they're God's greatest gift. Because if that's your mentality towards bringing something into your life and letting go and allowing yourself to attract what it is that you're wanting, you have everything all wrong. You're never going to attract what it is that you want. You're going to attract all the crappy people, all the people that are there to use you, all the people that are there to make you feel like you know you do need them or all the people that are going to come to your life that make you feel like you cannot live without them you know what i mean on certain aspects as in as if they feel like they they hold some precedence or privilege in your life you don't need people like that so allowing yourself to let go say for example you happen to be a shy person or you happen to be more of a more reserved person now of course i feel like everyone needs to respect their comfort level of some sort um not everybody could be like how I could be sometimes. Like I'm, I'm, I'm could be really crazy sometimes. I don't care. I'll talk to a bow and ass stranger. I don't give a shit. But allow yourself to do a little bit something a little bit different, or uh, go out and you know hang out with different crowds or different people um, that um, can show you different aspects of life or different ways of life to allow yourself to be a little bit more open and let go and be free. Sometimes if you are a person that is a little bit more reserved, a person that um, is a little bit more restricted or taking chances, take a good look at the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Are you, are you around people that don't take chances? Are you around people that are usually used to doing the same mundane things all the time? If that's the case, then you know what? Change it up a bit. Or if you find a friend that you know that you really respect and love and you know you like to do things with them, try to do something new that you guys have never done before and just talk to people. You know what I mean? Um, talk to new people. Allow yourself to be open to whatever comes your way. Especially when it comes to dating. Now, when it comes to letting go, a lot of the times, yes, we have our own insecurities about ourselves. Whether it be, you know, weight or you don't like how your hair looks or you're, you don't like how your skin looks. You know what I mean? There's so many different things that you tell yourself where you're like, okay, this is what allows me to stay in my bubble and not be open to meeting new people. Now, you have to ask yourself, I don't care who you are. I don't give a shit if you don't think you're that pretty. There has to be something about yourself that you like. Okay, it could be down to maybe your nose, your eyes, or even the way that you dress, or you really know how to put yourself together. There is something about the way, or something, or whatever, that you like about yourself. Because if there wasn't, you wouldn't even give a shit to take care of yourself in the morning when you left your house. Let's be honest. Okay? So, with that being said, find things about yourself that you love, that you can magnify on. Now, you have to understand that people, yes, are attracted to looks. Or attracted to what they see but most of all the biggest thing that people are attracted to are personality and energy that's what people radiate with I know many people or many men that I've met that they said they've met girls and they were beautiful girls and they got to know them and their attitude was so ugly and that's what made them just even uglier than they even look and they could be drop-dead gorgeous but they didn't care looks did not mean anything to them you know what I mean so sometimes it's not necessarily looks all the time it's just personality and how it is and how you carry yourself you know what I mean um, like for example myself you know what I mean um, like of course like you know I think I'm an attractive person I think I'm a beautiful person of course I love I have to love myself but you know I'm more of a fuller size woman and when I would go out a lot of the times with some girls or friends I have I meet guys easily you know what I mean um, you know I, I, my looks can be one can be a contributor to that but one thing about myself is whenever I go out I never have the mentality that anybody out here is better than me like I don't feel like I need to um, give this perception or make people think that or I, I'm not looking for validation from other people I'm just trying to look for that person in that place that connects with my energy and if I find somebody that connects with my energy I'm okay with that and then you know some people want to go out and they want 10 guys to talk to them if I have one guy talk to me that's cool and if I can find that one guy and if we can sit in the corner and talk all night and talk about philosophy and talk about bullshit in the news and whatever's on TV I'm absolutely cool with that you don't need all the extra attention that you don't need there has to be something about yourself that you like I don't care who you are and don't ever 
you know, fall under that thought process or that opinion that has been ringed over society that thinking highly of yourself in a sense of appreciating who you are is coming from an egotistical standpoint or, uh, you know, you're arrogant or whatever the case may be. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that are out there that literally try to make that talk highly of himself and it sounds like they're literally wasting their time trying to convince you of how perfect they are or how great they are rather than actually living it. I actually know a lot of people personally like that. Just gonna say it. <laughs> but yeah, but at the same time just know that when it comes to letting go and allowing yourself to be free in your essence and in the greatness that you are, you have to learn to love yourself first and learn that you're not here to impress others, you're not here to get validation from others, you're here to ultimately get validation from yourself. Like for example, if you were to do something and you drew a picture and it looks really nice and people are like, wow, like you draw really well, like you're very talented. If you were looking for just validation from somebody else and, said, and they said, yes, oh, that's so beautiful, it's just so, it's so t you're so talented, it looks so great. You probably would just draw that one picture and you know who's to say that you probably would care to even draw anything else because you've already won the opinion of somebody else but sometimes when you are really looking to validate yourself which people don't look at it that's this way you'll draw a picture that's pretty and you'll make jake see it and be like yeah i drew this picture and jake's like wow it's really nice you're really talented then you'll go to jane Hey Jane, I draw another picture. I go to Jane. Jane, hey, look at this picture that I drew. It's really nice, eh? Yeah, it's a beautiful picture. But every single time you're doing that, you're looking to validate yourself like, hey, am I really that talented of an artist? You know what I mean? So look for that within yourself and allow yourself to be able to take confidence, um, compliments, because compliments are love. And when you, through everything you do, and everything you're going to hear negative things but sometimes negative things doesn't necessarily mean it's negative as somebody saying something bad to you criticism is criticism as in they we all need criticism but when you do receive compliments or somebody says something nice to you what i i think is good to do um is sometimes if you've had the compliments been said to you that really impacts you greatly like literally write it down in a journal and every day that you feel like shit, literally go through that book and, re and read all the chapters and all the papers of all the nice compliments that anyone's ever said to you. Now, falling back on that, I know I went on a tangent about confidence and interacting with others and emotional stuff, but ultimately what I'm trying to say is letting go is the most beautiful and the most courageous and strongest thing that anybody in life can do. People think that holding on to things or holding back um, or keeping themselves in a confined space is actually protecting themselves when it is not. You're allowing yourself not to know what is out there for you. You're allowing your essence not to grow or to bloom. You're allowing yourself not to even, you're not even allowing yourself to see your fullest potential if you were to be a person that were to just let go and be free. So again, like I said, I have links in the description box when it comes to guided meditations you can look up a number of different reiki centers within your area to see if that's something that you would like to get into of course check out meetup.com and see if you know there's a meetup set or within your area that you would want to meet and the people that are going through similar issues as you or people that have similar interests as you where you can open up and you know get you know get yourself in different surroundings and get yourself on a different pattern and metrics that you know, it's keeping you in a space where you can't let go. Uh, when it comes to your job and career, be knowledgeable, constantly learn, constantly get out there, constantly network, constantly open yourself to being all that you can be in your field or whatever endeavor that you are doing. You're capable. Yes, it's going to take time. Yes, it's going to take a lot of hard work. But if you're not looking for it to take time or it to take hard work, but let's be fucking honest. You don't want it enough and you don't deserve it and that's why you don't have it. Okay? Now, when it comes to also like meeting people and, you know, getting out there and being more confident about yourself. Allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to sprout, allow yourself to be confident in yourself and love yourself and give yourself the validation so that you're giving yourself the ability to let go and be free and be happy.
so that's my rant today um it probably feels very like self-help and i probably feel like what's her name something teal or something or i can't remember her name she's she's like a uh, like a spiritual catalyst that's on youtube um, that's really popular and it's like you know what like I said I you know I'm giving you knowledge based on um, based on what I know and based on what I feel works and if it resonates with you it resonates with you if it doesn't then it doesn't like hey I ain't God and I didn't say I was Gandhi either so <laughs> you know what I mean but this is just something that I felt like I needed to address because I have a lot of people that have messaged me about what can I do to let go? What can I do to like, you know, be, you know, more confident or what can I do to be, um, to move on and be more happier and feel a zest for life? I understand that I'm on the same pursuit of happiness that you are on as well, but I can only give you information and guidance and, and, and insight based on what I've been through and what my guys lead me to tell you. So keep that in mind. So the next episode, of course, um, I'm not sure what it is that I'm going to drop next, but you know where you can find me. Go to Facebook. Um, the link, link is in the description box. My Facebook page, House of Stars. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and to follow me on Twitter. If you have any questions or concerns or want to book an appointment for a reading, you can message me in the inbox on House of Stars or you can message me via email, which the link will be in the description box as well. When it comes to updates on what the next video is going to be, I usually probably will drop within the, 40, the first like 48 with 48 hours before I actually drop the video so you know exactly what episode that I'm going to do but know that I'm going to do an Ask Star video soon it is coming up I'm going to try to be a little, more, a little bit more consistent with videos I know I took a like a, a bit of a hiatus but I'm trying to be here for you guys um, if you have any video suggestions or anything that you would want to see either on spirituality uh, where it comes or it comes to you know personal issues whatever it is that you won't want to talk about just you know shoot me over a message on uh, my house of stars page on facebook and i'll get to it as soon as possible so yeah i want to thank you guys so much for your time tonight tuning in with me and subscribing make sure you share the pages with your friend if you feel like this is something that resonates with them and they will want to hear something here uh you know resonates with them you know what I mean? <laughs> but if you want if they're interested in anything that I do in a house stars be sure to share and subscribe and it doesn't cost you a thing so I do want to thank you so much for your time tonight and rock with me I love you guys so much may God bless you and the angels protect you good night